One of the big changes with Cinema 4D R25 is the, the layout. So what I want to do is go over maybe some of the differences between R25 and an older version uh, that you might be more used to um, and maybe look at some ways to kind of uh, get around uh, some of the changes. Uh, one thing that I've noticed is that uh, in my version at least there is kind of this toggle for between the new layouts so um, I always like to use one of the presets or make my own kind of um, uh, workspace if you can see right now I'm on when this is toggled to the left I think it's it's actually showing me some of the older uh, the older layout so this actually looks pretty similar to the older layout uh, but one of the things that has happened is that um, some of the icons have been redrawn and, and changed so it might look a little bit different visually but I see some elements here like uh, ob model mode uh, texture um, points edges and polygons it feels pretty familiar um, and then the, you know the, I got materials down here um, my timeline is located along here and so I also wanted to go over the different parts of the layout for those of you that are really new to Cinema 4D. Um, the, there's kind of, you can think of uh, breaking the interface into chunks and like different parts. So something like this um, is kind of related to certain functions like, you know, I, I use this side a lot for grabbing points, edges or polygons. As I said earlier, um, you can change the axis with this. And there's just some other things here uh, that are similar. Again, this region down here is where materials would go. So if you had um, any materials they would or textures, they would go along here. Here's your timeline for animation. You can actually, uh, you know, press play and and you're animating through here. Uh, you can edit how many uh, frames are shown in here. Um, so a lot of the things related to animation will be along here. Um, on this side, you have um, these few different tabs along here and based on what you click on you'll see different things so objects is usually what I'll um, have selected because it'll show me you know if I bring in some uh, some objects it will show me those things in here if I have a bunch okay they'll get stacked um, down here is usually attributes related to the object unless you're clicking on one of these other tabs on the side uh, so this, you know, for example, um, I'm going to, maybe I'll turn off the, that cone right now, which I mean, I guess it's actually getting hidden, but I could, uh, select the cube, um, and I can make it bigger or, you know, these are all attributes related to that cube, that object. Okay. Uh, the other, uh, so a lot of the tools that you'll be using to create things, so like shapes, primitives, uh, will be here basic 3D shapes, splines, uh, you know, if you're drawing vectors and things like that, you can get to them from here. Here you have a few things related to uh, form, uh, making cloth surfaces, um, adding or subtracting forms from each other, polygon reduction, so there's a, a few things there. Um, here you have uh, things related to NURBS, so extruding a NURB, like making it 3D, lathe is kind of like spinning around an axis, uh, loft, uh, a similar kind of thing where we're, again, building 3D forms off of, uh, you know, a spline or something else. And here we have some things related to MoGraph, which uh, is like a special feature in Cinema 4D, letting us, um, yeah, kind of create uh, multiples of an object and we ha and then we have some effectors uh, related to MoGraph on this side uh, oops as we keep going uh, the volume builder tools are on this side um, fields are all in here um, this is kind of a powerful way to uh, animate things here we have all the deformers so things that we can use to uh, modify the geometry of something squashing and stretching exploding it shearing it tapering it uh, those, those kinds of things will go in here i believe here you have yeah things related to the environment so making a floor or a sky uh, a stage physical sky some other things like that cameras all in here um, this icon has been redesigned lights will be in here so uh, this 
setup, I think if you're coming from a, uh, an older version of Cinema 4D, this is probably what you're going to be most familiar with. Again, it's a little bit confusing because there's a toggle here and there are two standards. So I wanted to show this one, which will probably be uh, most familiar to people. Uh, if we toggle that switch to the other side and look at standard, you're going to get actually uh, a newer layout um, that feels different. Again, you can this side the items have changed. Um, some of those 3D, those things related to the axis, uh, textures, uh, and then plane edges and points are up here. So it really did get, the newer layout kind of like really shifts things around and it could be really confusing if you're uh, you know <laughs> if you're doing it for the first time so and and these I think are mostly similar but you know there's there's some new uh, features here I uh, just wanted to check one thing back here yeah like and you can see that the number of yeah items is different so for example um, when I go back to this version, there's a text item here. Um, this setup with objects and takes, so like these uh, tabs are up here in this newer layout. Um, you don't really have a uh, area to put in your materials, but you can you can add that in. Um, so again, this could be could be very confusing to some people. One thing that I advise doing is uh, hitting the keyboard shortcut. It's Shift C, um, and this lets me search for things. So if you're in a new layout and you know the name of something, like if you know you want a cube, you could write cube, and it's going to show up for you. If you knew, oh, I'm I'm trying to find the extrude function, uh, you know, you'll you'll be able to search it this way. So I use this a lot just even like if I am familiar with the layout just because it sometimes it's a little bit faster uh, I can just type in something I really recommend doing this uh, if you get lost or if you just kind of if you can't remember um, where things are again this layout really uh, you know some of the items get moved into different sections um, I actually don't really use this layout too much uh, so I need to get used to it but again I'm I'm doing, I know the kind of functions I need, so I'm like, uh, I'm hitting Shift C and then typing it into here and searching for it. So uh, hopefully that gives you just a quick rundown of the layout and some of the, ch the changes in the program. Um, and if you are coming from an older tutorial or something, uh, if the menu looks different, um, you know, hopefully you can still find your way there uh, just again by searching or you know, you can use one of the older layouts, you know, pick something that looks more familiar and use this instead.